Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around I'm going to talk about a house that I really enjoy wearing their products and this is uh, probably my uh, favorite niche house and it's Aqua di Parma and in today's video I'm going to talk about one of my uh, favorite fragrances from this house and uh, from the Blue Mediterraneo line comes Mandorlo di Sicilia. This is a fragrance that came to the market in uh, 1999 and it's considered to be a uh, very oriental floral type of uh, fragrance. But uh, to my nose and uh, after wear wearing it for a couple of months I can honestly say that uh, it's a lot more than that. We have a very beautiful presentation, typical for the house of Aqua di Parma. I have here a bottle of uh, 75 uh, milliliters, and this is how the box looks. But we are more interested in the juice and the bottle. So, really nice uh, presentation, just like every single other uh, bottle in this uh, Blue Mediterranean lineup. Very beautiful blue glass. The cap, although made out of plastic, it uh, fits very secure on the bottle and the atomizer sprays a lot of juice, covering a lot of surface. But we are uh, more interested in the scent itself. And talking about the scent, let's um, go ahead and see the notes that are composing Mandorlo di Sicilia by Aqua di Parma. And in the opening we have bergamot with uh, frangipani flower, orange blossom, star anise and green almond. In the heart we have uh, white peach, coffee and jasmine. And in the base we have um, vanilla, musk, cedar and sandalwood. Right from the beginning I just want to say one thing about this fragrance. And the reason for which I fell in love with it and uh, why I decided to go ahead and purchase a bottle mainly because this is one of the best almondy fragrances that you can buy on the market. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's very warm but at the same time refreshing yet it uh, somehow manages to to give you a feeling of uh, a gourmand type of fragrance. It's not the same almond that you can find in Guerlain fragrances, for example. I do consider the one in Mandorlo di Sicilia to be uh, a lot better than the ones that you can find in Guerlain fragrances. It opens um, with a blast of bergamot. You also get a lot of uh, orange blossom in the opening. And Right uh, afterwards, after a couple of uh, seconds, uh, because uh, the opening is very short-lived, you're going to get a huge, huge dose of green almond combined with star anise. And this uh, transforms this fragrance in something very delicious, very gourmandy, uh, somewhat sweet, but not overly sweetened. And also, from the back, you're going to feel um, a small infusion of coffee combined with jasmine and peach, but very, very subtle. Um, it simply smells amazing right from the beginning till the end. And uh, basically on my skin, at least, uh, this fragrance smells like almond all the way from the beginning till the end. And this is one of the reasons for which I enjoy wearing this fragrance. At the same time, it manages to stay somewhat refreshing, um, which is very interesting, if you ask me. And in terms of performance, I get really, really, really good longevity with Mandorlo di Sicilia. I've seen a lot of people complaining um, on Facebook forums and uh, on the internet uh, about the longevity and the overall performance of uh, Aqua di Parma fragrances, especially these ones in uh, the Blue Mediterranean line, which is a line made specifically for aromatherapy. So all the fragrances that you're going to find in this uh, lineup, they're all made uh, for the sole purpose of aromatherapy. I get more than 
18 hours on my skin with Mandorlo di Sicilia. It may be the culprit of my, uh, I don't know, uh, skin chemistry, but this is what I get. The first time that I wore this fragrance, I got 26 hours of longevity on my skin. From the first moment that I applied the fragrance on my skin until the last moment that I could um, sniff it on my skin. So that was the first time. Afterwards, uh, it adjusted to my uh, chemistry, but I still get usually at least 18 hours of longevity. In terms of projection, it performs very, very good. For the first uh, five hours, it performs very, very powerful. Afterwards, you're gonna get a six to seven hour, or at least that's what I'm getting, of uh, moderate projection, followed by about five hours of very weak projection. And until the end, you're gonna still uh, get some uh, whips around you uh, now and then. So very good performance, if you ask me, from Mandorlo di Sicilia, at least on my skin. I don't know what happens on uh, other people's skins, but I'm just gonna say what happens on my skin. Compliment Getter, it smells really amazing, it's very relaxing, it's very comforting, it's very elegant. It's um, a bit of a mature type of scent, if you ask me. Uh, very nice to, to, to dress it up with a suit uh, when, uh, I don't know, uh, going to a formal meeting, to a business meeting. Very good for cold days, but also excellent for, uh, let's say, warmer days. Like it is right now, spring, we are in uh, April, so uh, the temperatures aren't too high, roughly 15, 16 uh, degrees Celsius. So it's just perfect for the weather. I see this fragrance uh, being worn very nice in winter time, also in spring and in autumn. I wouldn't try wearing this one in uh, summer, but as I always say, uh, you can wear a fragrance whenever you want, mainly because you have to, to enjoy it. This pretty much does it for, uh, for this review, guys. This is Mandorlo di Sicilia from the house of Aqua di Parma. The lineup is called Blue Mediterraneo and I highly encourage you to, to give these uh, fragrances a try, mainly because uh, they have some really, really nice fragrances in this lineup. Uh, Mandorlo di Sicilia is just one of them, but you can also look out for Arancia di Capri, uh, Fico di Amalfi, Mirto di Panarea, uh, Cedro di Taormina, so they have uh, a lot of fragrances in this lineup that I'm uh, very sure that you're gonna enjoy them. Also do check out uh, the whole house because they make some other great fragrances from the Colonia lineup and also I highly encourage you to give it a try uh, to give a try to Colonia Mira or Colonia Ebano for example. Uh, those are those are something uh, really really spectacular also. Thank you for watching this video guys, I'm gonna see you in the next one, until then, as always my friends, be safe, be good, peace.